Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video and welcome back to Jane Austen July. And today I thought I would have a quick talk about this book and also about age in Jane Austen. So this is What Matters in Jane Austen by John Mullen. This is a really fantastic book that I would highly recommend. I feel like I've been mentioning it a lot in Jane Austen July. I read this last year in Jane Austen July and loved it. And it consists of 20 different chapters, all of which are posed as questions. And John Mullen basically traces patterns through all of Jane Austen's books. So the questions include things such as like, how much does age matter? What do characters call each other? How do Jane Austen's characters look? What games do characters play? How much money is enough? What do her characters read? what makes characters blush, how experimental a novelist is Jane Austen, so many interesting things. There are a lot of things that I love about this book and I found it really eye-opening and fascinating, like I really cannot recommend it enough. But one of the chapters I found the most interesting is actually the first chapter in this book, which is what does age matter in Jane Austen? And John Mullen talks about characters' ages, what age we might perceive they are, what age they probably are, and how much age matters in Jane Austen's book. So I just thought I would have a quick chat about age in Jane Austen today, sort of using John Mullen's book as a springboard. I don't have too much to say. I don't think this will be an incredibly long discussion, but I do think it's interesting to look at the, at the ages of characters in Jane Austen's books. There will, I'm afraid, be spoilers in this video because I want to talk about the age differences between various couples in Jane Austen and obviously they don't become clear until the end. So there will be spoilers for Jane Austen's six novels. Um, I will not spoil Lady Susan, though I will talk about it a bit, but Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, Northanger Abbey, Mansell Park, Emma and Persuasion, if you haven't read all of them slash seen television adaptations, I would advise not watching this video because you will find out who ends up with who. In Pride and Prejudice, Elizabeth Bennet is 20 years old and Jane Bennet is 22. In the in Sense and Sensibility, Eleanor is 19 and Marianne is 16 or 17. In Northanger Abbey, Catherine Morland is 17. In Mansell Park, Fanny Price is 18. In Emma, Emma is like 20, 21. In Persuasion, Anne Elliot is 27. And in Lady Susan, Lady Susan is in her mid 30s. So that's definitely the outlier there. It's really interesting to note that um, most of Jane Austen's heroines are, are 20 years of age or younger, the only exceptions being Anne Elliot and Lady Susan. And Anne Elliot is kind of presented as being quite old. One thing I find quite interesting in terms of age in Jane Austen's books is like what marriageable age is considered to be. In Pride and Prejudice, Lydia says that Jane Bennett at 22 is nearly an old maid. Like as far as Lydia's concerned, Jane is like basically past it now she's 22. But actually the average age for the women got married in Jane Austen's time was like 23 or 24. And actually all of Jane Austen's characters get married quite early with the exception of Anne Elliot who gets married maybe a tiny bit older than average, but not by much. But certainly the impression we get in a lot of Jane Austen's books is that the age at which a woman should be married is between like 17 and 22. Like those are like the prime marriage years for women, according to the world that we see in Jane Austen. However, the acceptable age for a man to get married is basically between like 25 and 35. When in Sense Sensibility, Colonel Brandon is referred to as being on the wrong side of 35. The idea is that like over 35 is getting a bit old for a man to be married. Whereas for a woman, it would be probably like over 25 that would be getting a bit old to be married. I find it interesting to look at like the different age gaps between various couples in Jane Austen's work. In Pride and Prejudice, Elizabeth is 20 slash 21. Mr. Darcy is like 28. Jane Bennett is 22 and Mr. Bingley is like 22 or 23 so they are like the same age. In Sense and Sensibility Eleanor is 19, Edward Ferris I don't think we know his age but I think he's presented as being in his mid-20s maybe early 20s, Marianne is 16 or 17, Colonel Brandon is over 35 so he is probably like 36, 37. He's only five years younger than Mrs. Dash with their mother, which I find weird, um, especially because Marianne is talked about as being very similar to her mother. So personally, sometimes I think Colonel Brandon might have been better off marrying their mum. But anyway, there is 20 years between them, which is one of the reasons why Marianne um, doesn't fall for him to begin with. And Eleanor um, at one point does say that it is quite a big age difference between them, along with many reasons why Marianne prefers Willoughby. His age is certainly among them. I think he's about 25, though not 100% certain whether or not that's said and sometimes I do wonder whether my interpretations of characters ages come from the book or from television adaptations and kind of common popular assumptions I'll get onto that in a little bit in Northanger Abbey Catherine is 17 and Henry Tilney is in his mid-20s so not that big a difference in Mansfield Park Fanny Price is 18 years old and Edmund is 24 um which is not a very big age gap but also remember the when they first meet in the early chapters she's 10 and he's 16 so they do like grow up together in Emma Emma is about 20 or 21 and Mr Knightley is in his late 30s, he's sort of 37, 38, so he is a lot older than her and has known her all of her life. In 
persuasion and Elliot is 27 and Captain Wentworth is 31 so they are pretty close in age closer than most of the other like central couples in Jane Austen with the exception of Jane and Bingley and then we have Lady Susan which I do find quite interesting here I'm not going to tell you the ending of Lady Susan because I promised I wouldn't spoil it but we have Lady Susan who's in her mid-30s and her daughter who's about 16, 17 and a man called Reginald de Courcy who is 23 who Lady Susan's daughter is in love with and Lady Susan also flirts with a lot. He's 23 and um, Lady Susan is 35 but looks a lot younger and you just can't imagine another Jane Austen novel can you where a mother and daughter share the same love interest. So interesting and very interesting too that this is um, one of her earlier works that wasn't published um, until after her death and, and in that sense like the age distinctions there and Lady Susan's interest in this younger man is much less conventional for a book of that time and in a way mirrors her like very unconventional juvenilia whereas like the rest of the relationships presented in her books are more conventional in terms of all the men being older than the women and um, with the exception of Charlotte Lucas in Pride and Prejudice who is two years older than her husband whereas actually plenty of men married women older than them Jane Austen's brother Henry for example his first wife was 10 years his senior I don't have many things to say about this I just find it quite interesting to look at another thing that I find very interesting in terms of age in Jane Austen is how we have got in into our heads as a society that certain characters of certain ages that they're not such as Mr Collins in most of the film and TV adaptations Mr Collins is played by a middle-aged man and he's a lot older than the Bennett girls he's actually not he's 25 years old he's three years older than Jane and he is four or five years older than Lizzie it's interesting even to note and um, so the illustrations I have in this edition of Pride and Prejudice are illustrations by Hugh Thompson and he drew these illustrations in the late 19th century in 1894 this is Mr Collins he does not look like a man who's 25 years old. Like, he's a really, really young man. And I think in many ways, it makes me forgive Mr. Collins slightly more for being such a silly fool. And um, the fact that he is actually really young. And maybe he will grow into a better person as the years go by. And it's interesting that the popular culture idea of Mr. Collins is definitely much older than his actual book self. Similarly, potentially with Mrs. Bennet. Now, Mrs. Bennet is an interesting character. How old do you think Mrs. Bennet is? I don't know. John Mullen in What Matters in Jane Austen says that she is probably just over four. 40. she's been married 23 years she probably got married at 18 or 19 and there's one point at the beginning of the book where mr bennett makes a joke about mr bingley maybe preferring mrs bennett to his daughters in terms of her appearance which possibly makes more sense if she is younger and also the constant worry in the bennett household that mr bennett will die leaving mrs bennett and the daughters having nowhere to go and mrs bennett's fear about what will happen when mr bennett dies definitely suggests that mr bennett is the senior of the two by some years however i i'm not sure i agree with john mullen because i'm not sure that she can be 40 because one of the kind of big issues in the bennett family is that they don't have any sons and that they were trying to have sons and that they hoped a son would come and they just kept having daughters. The Bennet girls are all quite close. Jane is 22, Lydia at youngest is 16. And as far as I can read the situation, Mr. and Mrs. Bennet would surely have kept having children until they had a son, unless Mrs. Bennet was getting to a stage in life where it was no longer as easy for her to have children, which makes me think actually maybe Mrs. Bennet is older than that. But it's just quite interesting because how do you age Mrs. Bennet? It's just quite hard. Another character I find quite hard to age. I realise all these three characters um, whose ages I'm querying are from Pride and Prejudice, but I think this is partly because Pride and Prejudice is the most adapted and well-known book, so it's the book where we have like the most clear ideas in our heads as popular culture as a whole of how old these characters are. How old do you think Caroline Bingley is? So in most television adaptations Caroline Bingley is played by an older actress and she is presented as being quite a bit older than Lizzie and Jane. However she is the youngest of the three siblings, her, Mr Bingley and Louisa Hurst. Mr Bingley is 22 so Caroline is definitely younger than 22. I don't know if it's ever said, I can't remember and can't find whether Louisa Hurst is older than Mr Bingley or in between Miss Bingley and Mr Bingley. If Mr Bingley is the eldest then Mr Bingley is like 22, Louisa is therefore not more than 21 and Caroline Bingley is therefore not more than 20 and actually when we know that Caroline Bingley is like close friend as Georgiana Darcy who's 16 actually maybe Caroline Bingley is maybe even younger maybe she's only like 17 years old and doesn't your opinion of Caroline Bingley change a lot if rather than being like 25 she's 17 she is a kid have another field ball after Caroline Bingley warns Elizabeth about Mr Wickham Elizabeth says to herself 
insolent girl. And that insolent girl makes me think that Elizabeth Bennet is older than Caroline Bingley. Like that way she phrases it um, makes it sound like she is older than Caroline Bingley. And I just, I just think if you view Caroline Bingley as like 17 or 18, it really changes your interpretation of her. If you can find a more accurate way to age her, please let me know because I really, really want to know how old she is. It's so interesting where Jane Austen chooses to tell us characters' ages and chooses not to tell us characters' ages. Anyway, I think that's all I had to say on the topic of age in Jane Austen. I don't have many conclusions to draw, I just find it quite interesting. So the next time you reread a Jane Austen, take note of the characters' ages and see how interesting you find it. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments if you have any thoughts to add to this discussion. I'll be back very soon with another bookish video.